Are the dolls in your dollhouse wondering what time it is? Join me today for Trash to Treasure Thursday and I'll show you a really quick and inexpensive way to make a whole clock shop full of wall clocks. Alright, so first I've got some buttons here to show you that what will and won't work. Um, you need a button that has a ridge and the outside raised up. Like, hopefully the camera is, hopefully one camera or the other is picking that up. This one I think is pretty obvious. This one would work really well. This one would work. This one would not work because the edge is lower than the center of the button. And this one would be also hard to use because it's flat. This one would work, but it's really tiny. So pick a button that, you, that will work. I've picked this one, and then figure out how big the center is. I used a circle template to figure out how big my center was. And then I found a clock on, online and printed off different sizes, got the right size, and I cut one out, and that's here. Um, and this is super, super simple. That's probably your hardest part. And I'm just using craft glue to stick this down, or just regular tacky glue. I like tacky glue because it's, it's thick enough that it will allow the, um, the top to remain flat. Push our picture down on there. We're going to wipe our glue up. Oh, and the other thing about your button, it has to be this kind that you sew through, not the kind with the, the shank on the back. It has to be a, this type of button that's, that's flat. So now this glue needs to dry. And then we'll put the shiny coat slash um, glass over our Alrighty, clock. the glue is set. And now we need to put on what will represent the glass or the plastic covering over our clock. And I've got a couple of others I did earlier. This one has just clear nail polish. It has about three coats. It's not super shiny, but it's certainly an effective cover for the, the little clock design. This one, although it's not completely dry, so it's not completely clear, is clear gallery glass. So that's another option. For this one, since I also have some of the Martha Stewart, this is clear, correct? Crystal clear in, gl in gloss, I am going to give this one a try and we'll see how this one works. And then we can kind of see how they compare. Now the problem, okay, we don't want to drop it. We need to get this as even as possible. There's a couple of advantages to the nail polish. One of them being that it goes on in thin coats, so it's easy to make it smooth. The, um, the glass paint is a little bit more difficult to get completely smooth. And I think I am going to try spreading this one out with a toothpick and level it. It doesn't self-level. The nail polish would base, will basically self-level for you. So, that's a nice thin coat, and we'll let that dry and see how it looks. Um, another advantage to nail polish, it's really cheap. Uh, this is a bottle from Dollar Tree, so this was a dollar for the bottle of nail polish. It gives a nice coat, but it takes many, many coats, but they dry in just a few seconds, a few minutes anyway. So that's an advantage there. Gallery glass, it's a lot shinier, it makes a thicker coat. And your, how thick you can get this depends on how much of a rim your button had on it. And we'll see how the Martha Stewart glass paint dries. 
in comparison to that one. That one is thicker because it had a much better lip on it. So that's our, um, our clocks. I hope you enjoyed this uh, Trash to Treasure project. And I love to see what you're doing. So if, you're, if you found us on Facebook, be sure and post some pictures on the wall. I want to see what you've done. And be sure and check the blog post I put up on July 5th because I've challenged my viewers and readers to a Trash to Treasure challenge. So go read that blog and uh, join the fun. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.